at least one or two kids get um each year get life in jail. And uh, from Crenshaw. In Crenshaw. You mean and, students or graduates? Um, students. I like to play basketball. I'm a lazy person, but I think that I think that I like to I like to cook. It's because of me that we had the basketball game to build up our teamwork. Five games. Five games. Before, when I was young. They had some shootouts, but it was more or less you would fight. You lost, you lost, you won, you won. That's it. Now there's no more fighting. If you do get in a fight, someone's going to come back and shoot. So I think it's getting harder for the kids today as opposed to easier. And, uh, you know, the things that we dealt with, you know, that I dealt with at, say, 15, the kids are dealing with now at 9, 10, you know, so it's getting harder. <clears throat> Be Up, again, is our newest launch this year. It is a gender-specific program that is concurrently running in Bradley Elementary, Audubon Middle School, and Crenshaw High School. Our ultimate goal of the program is not only seeing these gentlemen through post-secondary education, but on to higher education. Um, we believe that college is possible for all these gentlemen. Do you think it's random, or do you think there's something you guys all have in common? Random. <laughs> I think it's random. Picked a handful of kids from a uh, from, uh, couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea actually began again with our phenomenal CEO who noticed that there was a growing rate of young men who in this local Los Angeles area were dropping out of high school. <clears throat> the dropout rate was just alarming. And so she said, you know, something's got to be done. And so she came up with this concept. Finally, we got some people who believed in the mission and started supporting it. And that's where we are today. Like, we could talk about whatever because when there's no girls in the class. Because there's less distraction um, as far as, you know, anytime males are in the class with the opposite sex or vice versa, there's always going to be that hormone thing that's kicking in. I think the small downside to that is been... Because it's all males, it's a lot of testosterone that's flying. And from that, you know, they want to shoot on one another, meaning shoot, meaning bag, talk about. Keeping the objective in mind that it's about education, as opposed to where's all the ladies. There's no ladies in the class. Where's the women? You know, too many times uh, I try to tell these young men that that, 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 uh, that whole woman, man thing will get you in trouble. Tell us about the families you see and what families involved with the for kids. Who, who lives at my house is my yeah. grandmother, my sister, my older sister, she's 20, older than 22, my, okay. cousin, my three cousins, uh, and my mother, she lives, she has her own apartment with her boyfriend in the valley. Because my dad, he's really smart, my mom, she's smart too. I want to be the highest family, the highest person in my family to, like, to finish college, like, the first person to finish a UC. Um, I see my sister every day. I see my brother mostly every day. And my mom, she works from three to one o'clock in the morning. So I don't see her that much, only in the morning. Uh, family, family involvement, I think, is number one. I'm not saying that you cannot survive or thrive without that family environment. I've done it, I've seen other people do it, but I just noticed the difference in my kids um, having a family and uh, being in a family environment as opposed to other kids. And my kids are only four years old, my daughter, and six years old, my son. But I see the difference in them now than other kids that either have just one person in the home or no, uh, no adults or um, responsible adults. So I think family involvement is key. You say your grandma is pretty involved with what you're doing at school? Yeah. Like, my grades was bad before. Before it, what? Before the new semester. Okay. 
like the second semester, it was bad because I had, because my teachers were pressure on me, and I didn't know how to take it. So, you know, I was like, I don't care about this so much. Well, my parents' involvement, well, they pushed me, and most kids I know, they don't do good in school because they don't have their dads. And probably like one of my friends have both of their parents. So me and him, like, we're kind of high in our education. Well, the biggest challenge that I see with the students um, is the fact that at home, um, there's not a lot of male role models, not a lot of positive role models. And all that, those things that happen outside of school, they, they're transferred into the school. And so it's like a kid pretty much having to go from adult at home and on the bus ride here to Crenshaw, having to change back into a student. You know, I think that's extremely tough. You got like old I remember when crack first came out and I seen how it devastated my neighborhood. Almost like a major, major earthquake that hit in the mid 80s and then we're having a series of aftershocks. All of us in here or most of us know someone that has been or is addicted to that drug, especially in the inner city. My father was not in the home. Um, my mother was a crack addict. Um, probably uh, from two years old, um, you know, thank God she's recovering now. And, um, about maybe about a year and a half, two years clean. But I had to grow up with that situation to where my mother was on drugs, my father was either selling them or on them, um, gang, environment, the whole, everything that they deal with. And so uh, I kind of take it on as a personal challenge because I know exactly what they're going through. If I haven't actually did it myself, I know those who have. Um, Mr. McGregor, he... <laughs> Um, he, how could I say this? He, he went through some hard times in his life, and I thank God that I'm not, I'm, um, I don't go through that stuff at home. The thoughts of Mr. McGregor is he's a cool role model for me, you know. He's been through everything I have been through, probably even more, you know. One of the coolest teachers, like, one of the coolest teachers to have. Um, Helping the kids out, helping people out with their problems. When I first came, I was just like, really like, come on, you gotta get it together, gotta get it, get it together. And then I thought about it, I had to be really careful because I'm sure they're getting fussed at at home. I've learned patience, patience, and more patience. Because it's the first year here at Crenshaw, there's been some bumps. Um, but I think overall as a whole, uh, immediately, yes, longer, I think things will even get better. Um, so it's a lot of pros and cons to Crenshaw, but I love it because I believe that there are a bunch of diamonds in the rough. A lot of kids don't naturally get the opportunity to succeed, but if given the right opportunity or the right person in their lives, I think sky's the limit for them.